Hey everyone, this is I, Pardon, doing another model kit review. This time we are reviewing one of my favorite Gundams here. This is right here is the FA-78-3, the full armor 7th Gundam. This right here was first introduced in most of variations as one of the many, many extra mobile suits we get to see there. Also, it was also introduced in the video game Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Record UC-081. This right here was a PlayStation 3 title. And I'm pretty sure it was only Japanese only, but you can uh, port it over to stateside or worldwide because I know one of my buddies is actually able to do that and play it, and I get to play it a little bit too. But with that out of the way, let's get into the review of the Full Armor Servants. It's everything the Full Armor Servants comes with. Now let's go off with this first weaponry here. It's most powerful weaponry that is used. It's long range beam cannon. This right here is mounted on the back side of the mobile suit, as you can see right here. It goes on a bow joint right here. On the back side to be a little bit more usable. Boom, attaches on like that, and it's actually got pretty free range movement. It's able to go left and right, up and down. It's actually swayable a little bit, so it's actually got more full range to use. So it's actually one of the few times where a ball joint is actually useful. Going from the long range beam rifle, it actually looks beautifully nice in the design, it's sculpted pretty nice. Loving it so far. It's got one extra piece, which is right there on the monitor sensor. Overall, pretty nice long range beam cannon. Next, we've got its custom modified beam saber beam rifle. Nicely designed, right here as well. Overall, this is a this is a custom uh, modified beam rifle compared to the regular beam rifles you see on the RX 78. This thing is customized mainly for this unit. It's uh, more powerful as a longer range and as I think more energy capacity compared to regular beam rifles from the other RX-78 series. Then we got two beam sabers right here. These are used for, you know, for its close quarters combat. Using It's able to make beam sabers. Sadly, I don't know where the beam sabers, my beam saber box is at. So uh, I'll show that whenever I find that box. Uh, next on the list. We got its shield right here. This is a very sturdy, very hot modified variation of the regular shield you usually see on the Gundam or the gyms during the, this time during the one year war. It's a little bit more heavy modified. This thing's take ballistic missiles, beam rifles, because this thing is also um, in lore has anti-magnetic coating. So it's able to take a lot of damage. Then on its other backpack side, we have the mini missiles. These right here are micro missiles that are able to launch from the backpack. See right here, goes right here in this peg right here. Attaches no problem. It's able to go up, down. It's able to swivel. It's pretty nice. Not that far off as you would would, but it is a missile launcher, so it is it's fine as is. Last but not least, we got its back unit, or I like to call it its accelerator unit or tail booster. This right here is meant to make the mobile suit go fast. Has extra. Uh, what do you call those uh, gas compartments, whatnot? Or you would call this an MBAC device. It's able to make the uh, uh, full armor segments, uh acceleration go fast in space. It's got three thrusters. You can see right here, big one right here, and two side ones right here with the extra storage for the gas on these sides right here. Overall, that is it. Everything that the RX-78 RX-78-3, the seventh kind of comes with. Now let's go with the articulation for the mobile suit. So, first things first, going off with the articulation. Got the head right here. Very nicely sculpted design, I would say so myself. Did a little bit of panel lining, you can see right there. A little bit of panel lining on the head. A little bit of panel lining on the back. This right here was a Gundam pen marker. Uh, it's got stickers right there that I, are the only thing I use for the stickers for this thing. Yeah, I kind of figured that thing was going to fall off eventually. Yeah, there's a one small piece that kind of fell off on this thing. That's only because I kind of broke one of the pieces, but I'll fix that later. Then on the arm, we have a bone. We have, this thing has a bone joint right here, as you can see right here. This actually is one of the uh, kits that was in between where Bandai started to modify between the older joints and the newer joints, things like the in between between that. So this thing's one of the first kits that gets the bow joint for the arms. It would twist it out, no problem at all. It would, uh... And now it lost another piece, but that's fine. I'll get in a bit. 
It's called they will bend the arm all the way in that way. It's a little bit blocked by the shoulder right there. So it's not able to go all the way. That's fine. Uh, it's able to bend its joint this uh, all the way there. It's on a single ball joint, which is kind of sad. But that's mostly how it is for most uh, older UC kids. What's it called? It's arm. It's able to spin. No problem at all. What's it called? Now for the uh, ab crunch. This thing actually does have an ab crunch. Like I said, this is one of the kits that are, that's in between the transition period of Bandai going from the older joints to the newer joints. So this guy is actually able to... Okay, he's not, oh, I thought you were able to spin. Huh. I guess... Oh, okay, he's not able to spin because it's kind of blocked by this piece right here. Which is actually trying to make the back waist piece actually come off. So he's not able to spin all the way. That's actually kind of a sad thing, but... It's, Still got an app crunch. Not the ones you like how modern ones have, but they're pretty nice. Next, we have its legs, which are also, like I said, the in-between of this. So instead of having ball joints, this guy has actually early, early time stick joints. Except the stick joints. Actually, no, this is how it usually is. And the uh, legs able to move slightly like that way because it's on the... How most modern kids would have it. So, his legs able to kick all the way up. No problem at all. You can go all the way back that way. It's a little bit stuck or stopped by the back flap. But that's usually generally most of the kids. His legs able to bend all the way there. It's actually pretty surprising. But still pretty good. It's leg is able to bend. They would go left and right, up and down. A little bit hindered by the leg feet armor, but still pretty portable. And last but not least, the test of can it do a split? And yeah, it can. And it's pretty nice. Overall, the portability for this thing is actually pretty nice. It is a very good kit. Now let's do size comparison. And then let's go with size comparisons. First things first, let's compare it to a uh, average size Gundam, which will be the RX my Revive RX Emerald 8 right here. Overall, it's slightly taller, I want to say. And let's compare it to another, to another, technically, goddamn you, tw two monikers that refuse to stand. My Blue Destiny Unit 3. This is right here is one of our more modern high grades right here that you'll see. That you'll probably see a review later down the line. Let's review. Let's put on my gym custom, which I reviewed uh, what's called last week. Pretty nice design right here. So to review a slightly more bigger model kit. My entry grade new Gundam. This will also be another review that I'll probably do later down the line. And you can see. Well, the new gun is still technically big compared at least to everything else, but usually the full armor severance is average when it comes to most a lot of kits. Let's also do some non Gundam kits. Let's put them right next to my Boba Fett. Or at least a uh, Turn of the Jedi Boba Fett. This right here is a Bandai model kit too, for those who are wondering. Pretty nice model kit. Then we got one of my Stormtroopers right here. Overall. Now, you notice how the Star Wars stuff is going to be slightly bigger because they're 112's kits. 16, 112's kits. I had to go back to on the box art for them. And then we have my Darth Vader, who is probably the biggest out of my Star Wars troops just because it's Vader. And then last but not least, we got to do with my personal favorite and the technically face of this channel. My Estrella Scarlet. Overall, the full armor sevens is as average when it comes to almost, almost any model kit. But well, still fairly good and nicely designed. And this right here is the review for the full armor 7 Gundam right here. Overall, it's a very nice model kit. It may be a very old model kit, but this thing right here is still can still keep up with the newer ones. I mean, this thing right here was built, I'm pretty sure it was built in the in-between where Bandai was switching from the older joints to the newer joints. As you can see over here, the arms and legs, the legs having the new uh, peg joints. Or the arms having ball joints. And then also have an ab crunch for the torso. It's right there in the modernization to most high grades. 
uh, once a cold color separation is pretty nice in design. It says game accurate as possible because it's not in the anime right here. This is a game slash book collection since it is also from also variations going into video game. Uh, what's it called? Equipment, uh, weaponry. It comes actually pretty nice. It's got a beam cannon, beam rifle, two beam sabers. It comes with two beam blades. Uh, what's it called? Pulse ability is pretty nice. That's the thing I love about it. Uh, what's it called? Pulse ability is pretty great. You can do as many poses as you can. It's right up there with a lot of the most modern high grades overall. Uh, I would give it a pass and what's called if you want to get it. This right here is one of the model kits where I kind of struggled and wanted to get it. Eventually, I did get it, and it's good because it's a really great model kit. Uh, what was called if you see it, I would recommend getting it. But with that out of the way, I decide, priority, signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.